what you said. Alhamdulillah. Think about it. I know, mashallah, and I'm making dua for you right now in my heart, in the spirit. Those of you who say, in your heart, in some way, in your spirit, you say, I don't get it. You know, it don't really seem that heavy to me. What he's so excited about, because, you know, I'm praying for you. Because as we said in the opening, this day have I perfected for you your way of life and have completed my favor on you and have preferred for you Al-Islam as your way of life. You really got to think about that. Because life is complicated. You think life is easy? You must not be doing nothing. And that's hard. It's hard not to do anything. You don't do something. <laughs> I don't know the Arabic, but uh, my brother told me a, a saying. He said that the the the... The, the idle mind is, is, is the house of Satan or something. Shaitan, you, Shaitan got a job for you. Oh, you ain't got nothing to do? Come on down here and steal this money. Let's see if that'll work. Life is complicated. Life is complicated. I don't care if you're a professor, if you got one of them six figure, six figure salaries, if you have a, a marvelous, uh, you know, type A corporate business, or if you're an entre entrepreneur, self-employed, you, you, family and the like, you got children. Man, how many questions are involved with that? How many questions are involved with, okay, well, what should I do about this? And what should I, the more life you have, the more complicated it gets. And the more guidance is needed. And let me see if this works. E equals MC squared, right? Wait, what do you mean E equals MC? This is that, that, that famous formula, Einstein's theory of relativity, what have you. E equals, very simple. E equals MC squared. But explains so much more than most of us have the capacity to really grasp. If somebody says, sit down, let me, let me tell you what this is really saying. E equals MC squared. I'm trying to, to convey that Al-Islam is the same way. Allah says and we will make easy for you the easy. That's talking about Al-Islam. Speaking of life, it says, إِنَّمَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ Verily, with difficulty comes relief. So life is difficult. God says it. Life is difficult. He said, we are struggling. What is that? Fi qabadi. We are struggling from stage to stage. Allah is saying, I know you're struggling. Because that's how I created it. Who al-ladhi khalaq al-hayati wal-mawt? He is the one who created the death and the life to try. Life is a trial. To try which of you is best in conduct. Now, we live in a world of some seven and a half billion people. The numbers now say that there are about 1.4 billion Muslims. But we know most times those numbers include countries and peoples who are, who are <coughs> born into Muslim families, statistically Muslim country, but many times there are, what do you call it? Ba'id min al-Islam. Far from al-Islam. How many are actually practicing al-Islam? So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings us to Al-Islam and to the declaration that Shadu an la ilallah, Shadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. 
He has brought us, if we are sincere, he has brought us to the answer of every problem in life you are going to face. Do you understand that favor? Do you understand that favor? How many people in Houston have no idea of the power of Al-Islam? When each, many of us, I can't speak for everybody, when many of us, our living existence is a testimony that Al-Islam is true, Al-Islam is real, Al-Islam is powerful, Al-Islam delivers everything that it promises. We know that's the case. But how many people are saying Islam is false, Islam is a devil's religion, Islam is a pagan religion? How many people are saying that? Why? Because Allah hasn't favored them to come to Al-Islam. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasnatan wa fi al-akhirati hasnatan wa qina azabu nar Allahu Akbar Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen I'm not complaining at all so just in case you know the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the Prophet was in I'tikaf and he came out of I'tikaf and he was with a woman right so some of the companions saw him with some people. They saw the prophet. Oh, what is this? So they were going the other way. The prophet said, wait, wait, hey, hey, wait. Come here. This is my wife, Um Sophia. I said, oh, 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 no. Come on, come on now. So it says, he said, no, we weren't, we weren't thinking anything, but your, your body language and everything you've done have just said that. 58% of your communication is body language, 35% of it is tone of voice, only 7% is in the words. So they didn't say anything, but 93% of what they did said, yeah, well, the prophet got his thing, you know, it's good. That's what you were saying with your behavior. But what does that mean? You had already thought wrong about him. Because the behavior was following the thinking. And the prophet said, I didn't want shaitan to get started in you because Satan circulates in the body like the circulation of blood. So you got to watch out. Shaitan come to the Juma too. You know that. <laughs> I get him after they're done. <laughs> and that's sometimes, mashallah, sometimes it just literally happens. Damn, we just got up in the Juma and they balling up their fists, man. What's up with that? But let's move on. I'm killing time. Uh, I want to, in this one, go, go back to the idea of, of price. I, I believe I can conclude with basically just one story. One hadith sort of combined. Speaking about this, this, this complete favor from Allah. If Allah hadn't guided us to this, we never would have found guidance. I know that there are openings that include that statement. You know, it sounds beautiful when it's said, too. If God hadn't guided us to this, we never would have been guided. life or oh, life was so hard or you, you you wasn't in charge of that because if you could have made it easier you would have made it easier and maybe you never would have got to al-islam the point is that nobody comes to al-islam true unless allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides them to it and what has god done he did us a favor huh any of you got friends that's dead and they were living the same life you were living before they got killed and you used to do some of those things with them Whatever, OD, shot, kill, car accident, driving in cars that they stole. I know some of y'all come from the good side of life, but there was some bad stuff happened up there too. So, <laughs> me, I just got ghetto examples. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> so you speak from your. <laughs> I can think of a couple now that I mentioned that, but I got to go on. <clears throat> Look at the beauty of Ramadan. We, we, we're mentioning paradise 
at a bargain price. We already said just one move you can make to be forgiveness. But look at this. See, Ramadan is the bargain month. I don't know. They said uh, they said you could only buy Kevin Durant's shoes uh, when he was on the court. You know, there's some kind of marketing scheme where it's like, okay, the shoes are going to be available. We're going to release them tonight, but you can only buy them when KD is on the court. I I haven't followed up on it yet, but I know they sold a whole lot of shoes. Well, look at what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided for us. He has given us a month. Well, you can get paradise at a bargain price. Allahu Akbar. Oh, man. You know, hey, look, if Warren Buffett told me, hey, Fahim, I'm going to do you a favor. You think that's going to be a punk favor? You think that's going to be, I'm going to get you a bus pass for the year or something? You think it's going to be something like that? No. Allah said, he has done you a favor. So in this one month, in which is a night that's better than a thousand months. He says, during regular time, good deeds, ten. Like ten good deeds. Or as much as 700 good deeds. And he said, everything that the son of Adam does, he does it for himself. Except fastings. Fasting is for me. So this 10 to 700, that operates during the other 11 months. In Ramadan, God said, don't worry about that. I'll reward that. He said, Ramadan is the month of patience. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that and he also said that patience is half of faith. This is the month of patience. And the Quran in Surah Zumar, I don't have the exact verse, but in Surah Zumar it says, for the patient one, Allah will give them their reward without reckoning, without counting. Some say that means, it means that there's no, you, you can't do the numbers. Others mean that their reckoning is going to be as though there's no reckoning. You just come on in. And this is the month of patience. So when we fast, every good deed is multiplied. And then when you provide for the iftar, for the sami'in, for the fasters, the one who provides the iftar, he gets, she gets all of the blessings that they, remember you can't count these blessings. Whoever provides, they get all of the blessings of the good deeds as done by all of the fasters that are satisfied by their iftar without reducing the reward to the one who fasted. Only in the month of Ramadan. Come on now. That's paradise at a bargain price. Oh, I don't want that. You know, it's good. I'll just take what I get. You know, I'll just take my own. It's good. Y'all can have that. I'm, de- I'm back to Negro town on that one. But it's just, you know, when we don't, when we don't take advantage of this, why? Why not take advantage of that? Because when the month goes, sale is over. <clears throat> Story quickly, I'll abbreviate it. And it's this. A young man traveling, he heard about this great rich city. This great rich city, is a, it's a big, big, strong, powerful story. When he got old enough, he wanted to get to that city. People always talked about it, but nobody ever came back from that rich city to tell them if it was a reality or not. And so he went on the journey. And when he went on his journey, he came to the first valley. There were three valleys that he had to go through. When he came to the first valley, many, many beautiful flowers, the smell, the fragrance, the scent and everything. So he sat down, had his lunch, enjoyed that, enjoyed the experience and the like. And then he 
got up to continue his journey. But then nightfall comes.